this question's all about our car moving along and um, power in this case. So we've got a car of mass 600 grams. Whenever we do a mechanics question, 600 grams, 600 kilograms. Whenever I do a mechanics question, start drawing a picture as we go. Um, now there's going to be a normal reaction. I'm actually going to call it N in this case because we've got some resistance going on. So we've got um, our car has resistance um, against the motion. It's moving that way in my diagram. Um, and there will be a driving force going on as well. And we've been given the working rate. Right, so we want to find the acceleration when V is 20. So uh, what we need to know is our power is going to be our force times our velocity. So checking the units, that's going to be 12,000 watts is going to be our driving force times our um, speed, which is 20. Um, so our driving force must be 600. We then can use F equals MA. So our resultant force is our driving force minus our resistance. So our resistance is 200 plus 2 times 20. And that's V. So subbing that into our resistance equation. And that's got to be the mass times the acceleration. You can rearrange that to get the, the acceleration is 0.6 meters per second squared. OK. Um, now, it gets a little bit more complicated because now it's going up a slope. So now it's moving up a road in part B that is inclined at angle theta, with sine theta is a quarter, um, 1 over 14. Uh, same car, same forces. Okay. Um, the speed is now V, and uh, resistance is exactly the same, the working rate is the same. Um, so when it has speed W, it is decelerating at 0.05 meters per second. So the same thing again, we've got the same um, rate of work, so 12,000 is our force times our speed. Um, we have that our resistance is the same as before, so that's going to be 200 plus 2 times our speed, and we're told that acceleration is negative 0.05, so I've got all the information I need. Um, right, so from here, I can now use force is mass times acceleration again. So what's my resultant force? We're going I'm going to use this um, parallel to the slope. So going up the slope, I've got my driving force. I'm then going to subtract the resistance. And I'm going to have to subtract the component of weight in this direction. And that angle there is theta. So that's going to be sine. So theta, and that's going to be uh, my mass times my acceleration. Okay, well, my driving force I can get from here. I'm rearranging that equation. And then I can work all the rest of these things out. We know sine theta. Um, and if you keep rearranging that, you need to multiply by W, you can get a quadratic. And at this stage, you've got a quadratic, which you can solve in your calculator. You will get a negative answer, which is obviously, as long as we've set our diagram up correctly, and we've got everything correct, is not the one we want. So W is 19.1.